And the way you help her, yeah, the way you sit in, also do a lot of forward hanging over things. I don't mind if I move. Yeah. No, I don't. Go ahead. So, this is a great table for mm -hmm. leaning. I've done that a few times. And rocking. Mm -hmm. You're watching TV, you hang and you rock that way for a while. Okay. Especially when the baby's awake and you feel the baby moving. Mm -hmm. Hang out and just shake your hips. Okay. Back and forth. Come do it here. So is it the more she does this, the better off we'll be? Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm going to just borrow this pillow from behind sure. you. And throw this pillow over. Okay. Now flop yourself, arms over it. Just really flop. Just flop. Maybe you need another pillow. Here you go. Another pillow. Do I need to rest on my elbows or my arms? Yes. Or just... I want to ah, Okay. Right, really, move your body so that you're in place. To, you know, if these are in the way, we'll just move them. Oh, they're falling. All right. So this is a really good position to be in. So while she's watching TV, mm -hmm. I'll film you now. To <laughs> it's already rolling, but it stops at like 10 minutes. Right, so we're so now get around. This is practice rolls here. Mm -hmm. And you just slowly, just like this, one hand down at a, at a time. And you would go slower and let your the weight of your hand roll your hand down. How does that feel to you? Do you need more weight on his hands? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I felt more weight okay. in your hands. So let your hands be like filled with sand. The weight of sand just kind of rolling down her hips. Is it heavier? Okay, so, hands on heavy so now I want you to stop switch places. Oh Danny, you hang over. Oh, joy. <laughs> you hang over like now that. you do it to him the way you think it would feel good. Or See, the way I was doing it. Did it feel good? With the way you were doing it. Yeah, so I want you to do it to him. All right, let's see. Because that's like, I guess when I, similarly with back scratching, mm -hmm. I like my back scratched hard versus soft because mm -hmm. it just tickles. I guess. Let the weight of your hand be this. Like you can oh, feel your, your, your palms yeah, and heels and okay. your... Oh, I feel the baby moving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now switch off. I guess what, I mean... All right, so you use... You, pretty much you well, use the I, palm I, of your hand, I the use, heel. I, yeah, yeah, I use the heel. Okay. And then yeah. Better? Let, mm -hmm. let the heel run all the way down to her butt almost. Yeah. Yeah, see so that feels a lot different. It feels a lot better. All right. Now feel just like off the, off the, um, when you come down the butt, I want you to then slide it to the side. How's that? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think you need to go that far down. All right. She said to just, yeah. Whatever she said. Never mind. I'll decide. <laughs> all right, so you don't go all the way down, but just a little bit off the side of her cheeks. Yeah, and then just go back. How is that? Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. That's good. All right, now we can stop that. So most of the heels. Mm -hmm. And then I'm coming off the sides of the hips. Yeah, that feels really good. Well, and in labor, that's something that they like a lot. She used to like back rubs before she got pregnant, but then after she got pregnant, she said, don't give her back rubs. Because we, sure, we yeah. read up about like, this would be like the pressure point to induce labor. So they're basically were being cautious and she'd be like, you know, don't go anywhere near here if any yeah. pressure. Um, well, you can. Which is which yeah. what that just kind of reminded me of. All right, I understand that. I don't know if it's true or not, though. That's the thing. It's so now biggest... it's not true. Okay. Okay. So here you can just give pressure. Okay. How is this? That feels good. And then there's some. And I'm. If it's okay, I can demonstrate on you. Sure. Is that okay with you? Yeah. I demonstrate. The other thing is called a hip squeeze. And what I'm going to do is here's the pelvic bone. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm going to take this the hip bone 
which are like this. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to press in, and it's flaring out the bone. Okay, mm -hmm. it's flaring in the inside, but flaring out the outside. So I'm going to press in here. How is that? That feels good. <laughs> I, I, I love back massages or okay. stuff like that. Anyway. So another reason why that feels good, so it releases from these bones, it kind of releases the space. But this is also, so she might like different things at different times in labor. Mm -hmm. She might like, just, she might just say, just press. And she just, want, just, just wants constant pressure in. Other times she'll say, just stroke. Other times she might say, lower. Or she might say, squeeze. Hmm. Can you imagine all those different possibilities, liking those? <laughs> Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's just, again, it's just stroking out because she's going to be working, you're going to be working to just like let your body do what it needs to do. And having this rocking, what we're doing a lot in labor is we are making space for the baby to move down. Okay. And, and the way for you to make space. Okay. Yeah. So here's your pelvic. Mm -hmm. so, Try to put your hand through. Make a knuckle fist. Put it through. Okay. So now start to put your knuckles through. Mm -hmm. And hmm. Okay. If I'm if I'm going like this, mm -hmm. there's a place that makes more room. Take your hand out. Go ahead, put it in again. Take right. it out. Put it in. <laughs> so you're like wiggling to give it more. So when you like you put your leg up, what's happening here is that your pelvis is twerking and opening. Okay. Mm. So this might be something you do in labor. So we might have you leaning on the table. Mm -hmm. so you, might, you might lean in with one leg up. Okay. Oh, I've, I've seen that. Which I've, I've is called a lunge. Mm -hmm. So you might not, this might not feel great, but just that angle is going to help. We turn the other way and get this way. Mm -hmm. So that you're just like hanging with your, your leg facing forward, mm -hmm. straight, not like this, like this. This foot is straight here and you're just leaning in and looking at the guys on the roof. Okay, and then. Is that the subway? That's a, subway. Yeah, that's a subway. So these are called lunges. Yeah. I was gonna say they look like lunges, but yeah. It's not always the greatest feel, but when you lunge into it, mm -hmm. lunge into oh. it, lunge into it, back and forth. It's just another thing hmm. that might happen in labor. Hmm. I do have more pain on the left side of my pelvis. Uh -huh. I've noticed, on, like on the back side, back here. Mm -hmm. I mean, like just in right. general. Like sometimes, I'll, some mornings I get up, and it's that side. I don't know if maybe it's because I'm more laying on my left side. It could be just the position the baby's head is. Hmm. If it's the back of the baby's head mm -hmm. leaning against, it's hard against hard. Oh. So it could be that. So you want to just do things that are going to help the baby to um, just switch around. Because if the baby turns and in the face mm -hmm. is facing your back, mm -hmm. then it won't be as hard against heart. If your baby is facing out to the world, the mm -hmm. back of the baby's head is back here. Okay, that would explain it. Yeah, see I get that a lot of the time. Yeah. So you can just do a lot of forward leans or you do do hands and knees pelvic rocks. Do you have a, like a oh, yoga a yoga mat? I do. <laughs> All right. It's in the corner over there. And also just doing like this or yeah. Or well, either way for now. Okay. Just to get a sense. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna tilt. Yes. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've been doing that. So I actually did some rocks. Uh -huh. Does that feel good? Yeah, it always feels good. I actually did some last night. We we're catching up on some uh, movies. Game of Thrones, actually. Uh huh. 
and I sat in the floor and I did that as I was watching the yeah. TV. Perfect. So what you could do put you put this down so it doesn't hurt your knees. Mm -hmm. Lean over and just do that and just oh. hang over. Do you have one of those exercise balls? I don't and that's one thing we I was just telling him we need get to one. get biggest get one enough. or get one that's how tall are you? Um five six. Yeah, get one that's like sixty four inches. Okay. okay. I think that's the, the, the size. 65, I forgot 60. too. I was at Target yesterday. Don't remind me. Yeah. You can yeah. probably get it from Amazon too. Okay. Um, well, we already have a list of stuff on Amazon anyway. Yeah, true. Whichever one you can get first. Whatever. Okay. It doesn't matter. And, I, and the, what, what you're doing, alternating like this right now, I've also done a few times and that does feel good as well. But with the added the weight, pressure. added pressure, that feels even better. So pressure. where would the ball go when we get her the ball? What? Oh, exercise here. ball. What? She'd lean over it. Instead uh, of that? Uh, instead of this, ah, she would lean okay. on the ball. I and see. also, you would sit on the ball. Because you, yeah. you can't sit back and relax. You always right. have yeah. to be somewhere forward. So you, it's a good position. And you can also roll your hips while you're sitting on the ball. And all of this hip rolling mm -hmm. is really good. Because yeah. again, what is it doing inside? It's moving her around. It's opening. That's right, it's making the space. And it, are, it feels better already, actually. Yeah. Okay. So we'll have to do this more often. I mean, See, I, I know I could do it And what I'm doing is I'm, come come here uh -huh. and you do this. Sure. Danny. I'm just having my hands tucked under her pelvis as like, here. Just oh, I see. Like, mm -hmm. Just like that. Okay. So you're just supporting her weight. Ah. Uh, you're not digging in, you're just kind of doing that. Gotcha. Okay. Think of when you're timing a contraction. Okay. One, how often are they coming? Right. So how often are contractions coming? Well, they're coming every 12 minutes, they're coming every five minutes, they're coming mm -hmm. every seven minutes, they're coming every five minutes. They're, coming, they're all over the place. They're just, they have right, no and that's the time time to, in between Well, contractions. it's from start to start. From start to start. From start to start. So you see how much time is in between from the start to the start. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. So start of one contraction all the way through to so the start, start of the next. next. So if one starts at one o'clock, the next one you feel it at one ten, one twenty, one thirty, one forty. So that's one aspect. Okay. Hmm. I had no idea. See, that's right. that's one thing I was confused about because I've, you know, you can only like I said, you can only read but so much or right. whatnot. But right. okay, now I actually get it. Okay. So okay. that's how often are they coming? The next part is, how long are they lasting? Now, that one is from the start to finish. Mm -hmm. So if okay. one starts at, at, at 1 o'clock and it ends at one oh three, I mean, no. It starts at 1 and then 15 minutes, 15 seconds later it ends. Then it's only 15 seconds. If it starts at one time at one o'clock and it lasts for thirty seconds, mm -hmm. and then it ends, then it's thirty seconds long, and so on and so forth. If it starts at one and it ends at forty-five seconds later, so wherever it starts, wherever it ends, is how long it lasts. Okay. Right? So in that ten-minute time, it only lasted fifteen seconds. Hmm. Okay. Could you still do things? Could you talk? Could you drink? Could you go, oh yeah, I'm having one. Continue watching TV or eating. Oh yeah, there's another one. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Then you might have a contraction that starts at 1 o'clock. It ends at 1.05. I mean, the next one starts at 1.05. The next one starts at 1.10. The next one starts at 1.15. The next one starts at 1.20. They are now every five minutes. Right. Okay. Every five minutes. Because the one started, started at 1 o'clock, and then the next one started at 1.05. Right. Okay. Okay, so now they're every five minutes. And during that time, they lasted, when it started, it lasted 45 seconds. So almost a minute. The next one lasted 45 seconds. The next one lasted one minute. The one the next
this one lasted for a minute. So you get a sense of now they're lasting longer. Mm -hmm. right? The intensity went from I can eat and talk and chat to oh. Those are a little bit more intense. Yeah. You're like it kind of stops kinda like, you. Yeah. Okay. You can even like kind of like now, what's going to happen is you go from, oh yeah, you can talk through to, ooh, to like, shh, sneak completely, fall out on the floor, wow. complete silence. Okay. 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 You're just closed in yourself. You're not talking about what's happening. You're not saying this really hurt. You're just focused. You're just like, don't bother me. I'm working. Right. So there's a different, you know, there's a progression of where it is. That's the noise Lauren makes first thing in the morning at 12 on a Sunday afternoon. Good morning. <laughs> Alright, you duck. Explain yourself. Damn it, I farted, okay? <laughs> I bent over to get. <laughs> I bent over to get some toilet tissue so I can go use the bathroom. <laughs> That's it. She's got a frog in her throat when she bursts and she's got a duck in her ass when she farts. What? How do I have a frog in my mouth? When you burp, it's like burp. And then when you fart, it's like burp. <laughs> Man, I wish I had that on film. <laughs> she's gonna sell me insurance. Burp. That flag. <laughs> Okay, boob head. Don't interrupt me. I'm trying to set up Cortana. Alright, are you trying to imitate um, Dracula? Boob head? Not Dracula. Boobula. 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 We're gonna be parents. In a few weeks. Yep. I'm practically 33. I will Wait. be Daddy Boobula. And I'll be Mommy Boobula. 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 She's gonna be Boobula. <laughs> she threw it at me, so I figured I'll just wear like a hat. Boobula. Would you like some boobies? <laughs> Go away. Go away. You duck. You duck ass. <laughs> Quack. It's still the same day, by the way. Yep. No shit. And now her AC is making noise. <sighs> oh, and by the way, in case you wonder why we have all this brown tape, that's because it doesn't exactly fit our window properly. And um, we don't want bugs coming in. But the cats like to play with the tape. That's how spot. you... That's how you insult the AC MacGyver style. And I've never watched MacGyver, but I know what he does. MacGyver, you can call me the Chinese MacGyver. Chicken, China, the Chinese chicken. No. 